the mail go into the board? I, I keep trying, but it just won't work. <laughs> Why? It's because of pressure. Uh, what? Well, what are you doing in my dream? Yep, pressure. What? What are you? Why are you both in my dream? Yeah, pressure, capital P, equals force over area. So what? I, I just want to get these nails to stick in this board. If you understand pressure, you can figure it out. Billy, stand up for a moment. Uh, okay. Now look at your feet. Sure. Uh, the force of gravity on your body is pushing down on the ground, and your feet uh. are pushing against the ground with a pressure caused by the force of gravity. We can determine the pressure caused by your feet against the ground. Uh, step aside for a second. Okay. Huh. Where did those come from? Those represent the contact area of your feet against the ground. We can represent the contact area of one of your feet with the ground as roughly a rectangle which is 21 centimeters long by 7.0 centimeters wide. That means the contact area of one of your feet is 21 centimeters times 7.0 centimeters or 147 square centimeters. We need that in base SI units, so let's convert to square meters. Multiply 140 square centimeters by one meter over 100 centimeters However, we need to square meters, so square the conversion factor. And that makes it one square meter over 100 square centimeters, or... Don't forget to square the numbers as well, Bobby. Thanks, Bo. What is going on? We actually multiply by one squared meter squared over 100 squared centimeter squared, or... 0.014, so 0 0.0147 square meters. But I, I have two feet. Right, so the contact area of your two feet right now is two times 0 0.0147, or 0 0.0294 square meters. And now we need your weight in pounds. Billy, how much do you weigh? 170 pounds. That's, That's how, how much, much I weigh. weigh. Jinx, you, you owe me a soda. soda. Uh... To convert to newtons, we multiply 170 pounds by 4.448 newtons over one pound, which gives us 756.16 newtons as your weight, or the force of gravity acting on your body right now, which is pushing down on the ground with 756.16 newtons. As long as Billy is standing still. Right, so the pressure caused by your feet Pressing against the ground equals the force of gravity divided by the contact area, or 756.16 over 0 0.0294, or 25,720 newtons per square meter. True, pressure is measured in newtons per square meter. However, that unit is given the special name Pascals in honor of Blaise Pascal, a 17th century French physicist, mathematician, and inventor. One Pascal, or PA, equals one Newton per square meter. So the pressure is 25,720 Pascals. However, we can multiply by one kilopascal over 1,000 Pascals to get 26 kilopascals, a common unit for pressure. One kilopascal equals 1,000 Pascals, like one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. And one kilogram equals 1,000 grams? Exactly. Wait, wait a second. What if I lift one of my feet off the ground? That is a great question. I, I, I can feel there is more pressure. But how much more? Well, by lifting one foot, I've cut the contact area in half. But my weight or force of gravity pushing down to the ground is the same. So if the area is halved, the pressure is doubled. So the pressure with just one of my feet against the ground is two times the pressure with two feet on the ground, or two times 25,720, or 51,440 newtons per square meter, or 51 kilopascals. Oh, <laughs> but I can make the pressure even larger by lifting my heel off the ground and just having the ball of one of my feet on the ground and... 
<laughs> wow, I can feel that is a lot more pressure. Oh, oh, that's how I get the nails to puncture the wood. I turn the nails around so the point of the nail is against the wood. <laughs> The point of the nail has a much, much smaller contact area with the wood than the head of the nail, and therefore with the same force applied by the hammer, the tip of the nail can cause a much, much larger pressure on the wood than the head of the nail did, and the nail will sink into and stick in the wood like this. He figured it out. <laughs> yep. Putting the pointy end of the nail against the wood decreased the contact area by a lot, which increased the pressure by a lot, which made it so the nails can pierce the wood. I'm so proud. Yeah, so proud. Uh, a few quick additions. The equation definition for pressure actually has the force perpendicular to the surface in it, not just the force. Any force component of the force which is parallel to the surface does not cause any pressure on the surface. So pressure is defined as the force perpendicular to the surface divided by the area. And pressure is a scalar. Pressure does not have direction, it has only magnitude. And there is also the important distinction that the force of gravity is not the force which causes the pressure on Billy's feet. Uh, what? Yeah, the force which causes the pressure on Billy's feet is the force which acts upward on Billy's feet, which is not the force of gravity. It's the normal force. Oh, right. Correct. Now, in this particular case, because the force of gravity, which is down, and acts on Billy's center of gravity... I thought the force of gravity acted on an object's center of mass. The force of gravity acts on an object's center of gravity. However, in a constant gravitational field, the center of mass and center of gravity are in the same location. Oh, right. And on the surface of the Earth, where most of us live, the gravitational field is pretty much constant. Yep. Yeah. So again... The force of gravity acts downward on Billy's center of gravity, and the force normal acts upward on Billy's feet. Net force equals force normal minus force of gravity, which equals Billy's mass times Billy's acceleration in the y direction. Because Billy's acceleration in the y direction equals zero, the force of gravity and force normal are equal in magnitude. Which means Billy determined the correct pressure. But only because he was not accelerating in the y direction. Yeah, remember, we don't feel our weight, we feel the force normal acting on our feet. Right, you showed that by riding on an elevator. I did. So if he were jumping or waving his arms around, the force normal and therefore the pressure on his feet would be different. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm right here. Uh, no you're not. You're asleep. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Thank you very much for learning with me. Us. Uh, us today. I, we, we enjoy learning with you.